Oh my god. Eric, this might be how I go out. Hi. So today was supposed to be my day off. I posted a video yesterday. Of course, things don't always go that way. So it's like 8.30 in the morning and I've already dropped Mr. Tarantula Cat off at work, dropped Fiona off at school, dropped the dogs off for grooming, and now I'm rushing to drop Bowser off at a different exotic vet. So basically, I don't really know what's going on with him and neither do any of the turtle people. So let me back up a little bit. About two weeks ago, he started basking a lot. And with all the basking, I started worrying that something was wrong with him because sometimes sick turtles will bask a lot. But also I thought maybe he is just enjoying his ability to bask because I repositioned the driftwood to where he could get all the way out of the water and like be like pretty far above it. And I thought maybe he's just enjoying that. But then I noticed a little bit later that he had like some kind of scrapes on him. And I figured they were probably scrapes from his rocks from like darting around and eating crawfish. So last week I was trying to get him to eat and like off the tongs and he just wouldn't. And so I figured he's just been eating all the fish in the water. Like the fish have slowly been disappearing. So I figured, you know, he likes the fish and he prefers to eat the fish and I mean that's what they're there for but these are all just like little subtle things that have been happening for about two weeks now that I have been talking to the turtle people about at this point it's like yes there is definitely something wrong with him um okay so we're at the pet hospital so he's not happy right now you can't really tell now it looks better than it did but like you see that little piece of fuzz on his head he has that fuzz on different parts of his body so i'm just taking him here to see what they think and if he needs antibiotics or something Bowser's at the vet, dogs are at the groomer. We can finally sit down and talk a little bit more. So basically, Bowser's been weirding me out for a couple weeks. Things have gotten worse. Now there's obviously something wrong with him. And I was really worried about him yesterday, asking all the turtle people, what do you think this is? What do you think's wrong? Because that fuzzy stuff that started like growing on him was not there like the day before. Like it was not there. It just like came all the turtle people seem pretty stumped which is what especially worried me because usually when i have an issue i'll be like hey what's this and they'll be like oh it's this do this this and this you know or something i am so freaking thankful that i found a vet that would take him today granted it's a drop-off appointment so i don't know like how it's gonna go i'm relieved that he's at least seeing a vet somebody that can for sure say this is what it is this is how to fix it and prescribe any kind of medication so i don't have to like go to a tractor supply or something and like find all this stuff and kind of just guess I don't want to guess, you know, when something's wrong with him, I just don't want to guess. I ran into the pet store just now. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to really just give his tank like a good clean down. I want it to be like really nice for him when he comes home. I'm going to do a big water change and I'm going to put in a new piece of driftwood. So this is what I got from the pet store. It's just a big piece of drift and I really like these because these have tannins and tannins is an antibacterial. It really helps with ailments. It turns the water brown. A lot of people don't like the tea colored water. I personally do like the tea colored water so this is gonna do that for me all natural wood products leach tannins which discolor water blah 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 we know that we want that that's why i got it i also got this big water changing uh siphon vacuum i already have one obviously but i don't like it very much and this one is so much larger and it has the hand pump uh because i'm not putting this on my mouth with turtle water on the other end i'm not doing that i i thought i'd try this one out and we'll see how it goes i'm sitting in the mall parking lot right now because i want to run in to hot topic when they open and see if they have the squish Mellows that I have been looking for. Yeah, I'm just kind of blowing some time until I hear back from the vet. So yeah, obviously this is a vlog. This is my a day in the life of a exotic animal keeper, YouTuber. This is my day in the life. It's just a random day.
back from the vet and I don't want to say exactly what is going on just yet because uh, she I talked to her and she like clarified a lot for me but she's also giving me written instructions so before I'm like blah 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 I just want to make sure that I understand everything correctly welcome back how was your day goodbye okay then let's get you home well, he's mad mad He's hissing and peeing more. Oh my God, stop peeing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Eric, this might be how I go out. Probably. Ah! <laughs> you think it hurts him? No, he's just being like a jerk. He's hissing. He's mad. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna turn you upside down just to make sure I got it all. Oh. Okay. Why are you touching Bowser like that? Because oh, he's like turning around. Okay. Nighty night. Good night. Good morning, Bowser. Oh, good morning. So I'm supposed to soak him and put him in his tank during the day. As you see, the water is starting to turn a little bit more tea colored because of this new piece of drift I put in there. And I also have this heater right here. Um, it's just like a regular water heater and that's what this annoying cable is for. I'll figure this out later, but I just want him to go back to like a nice warm tank. Good morning. You are sure more angry than usual, huh? Yeah, I know, you tell him. All right, let me get you some clean water to soak in really quick, because I'm supposed to rinse them off. Okay, I usually turn the filter off when I film videos, but I'm just gonna leave it on because I'm gonna just talk really quick. So thank God. I took him to the vet and that I was able to even find a vet that would take him so quickly because it, trust me, when you have a sick exotic animal, sometimes you really have to fight for an appointment, like an immediate appointment, unfortunately. Even in my area where there are like lots of exotic vet hospitals, it, it's still such a struggle sometimes and it really sucks. But thank God I got him to that vet. She was amazing. She swabbed him. She looked at it under a microscope. She had an answer immediately. It is a type of bacterial infection and he just needs antibiotics. Now she did tell me that this bacteria is kind of difficult to get completely rid of. Um, she told me what to do, which was basically empty out half the tank, change about half the filter media just to get more of the bacteria out of there and treat with antibiotics. I told her that dry docking him all night seemed to really help. And I asked if I should put him back in his tank or if I should continue to dry dock him. And she actually said that I could put him back in the tank, but because it did help dry docking him, I could dry dock him at night and then put him in his tank during the day and because I'll be dry docking him at night she also offered me an ointment this ointment is very common to treat like fungal infections and I think like even burns in humans you can buy it over the counter this is something that a lot of the turtle people were suggesting to me to try before I found a vet if you have a turtle and it's suffering ailments and you can't get to the vet right away this is definitely something that you could probably try and find over the counter so we're doing a topical just for until there's some improvement which there has been improvement but I'm gonna you know be extra careful and probably do it a couple extra days and then we have oral antibiotics for three weeks every 48 hours so they gave him his first round of oral antibiotics yesterday before i picked him up and he'll have his next dose tomorrow when he gets annoyed enough he will just open his mouth and that is like the perfect opportunity to just squirt the antibiotics in and so i told them that oral probably won't be an issue for me but if i cannot get him to take them orally i can also bring him up there for an injection every like 48 or 72 hours or something like that but basically the antibiotic they gave me is called Batril. It's really commonly used in like dogs and other bacterial infections and I can say happily that I already see a great improvement in him. As for the vet bill, I really was expecting something outrageous and I'm just going to tell you guys because I want you to kind of have an idea of what to expect. It only cost $100 for the vet care and all the meds which I think is such an inexpensive vet bill. Hey, come here. Look at this doggy. Look at this doggy. 
You're gonna interrupt my video? But yeah, so I'm glad we figured it out. I'll keep you guys updated, of course, on how he's doing. It's okay, my guy. It's okay. And if you guys enjoy this kind of vlog style, let me know. I had fun doing it. It's a little bit different. Okay, so anyway, I'll leave you guys with that. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I'm in a scream that is probably way too much. as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast. Anities. Forget it's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pics.